honoured, really, especially when I, when I then sort of looked down the list and, and, and I think it was so wonderful. It wasn't just actors because sometimes, sometimes we get all the attention and actually no film is made with the people just in front of the screen. It's so collaborative and it was wonderful to meet all these different people who contribute to all the elements of film. It was so wonderful. I couldn't believe it. I felt I sort of had to ask my agent to repeat it down the phone. <laughs> I'd always had such a passion for the arts as, a, as an umbrella of a subject, and and when I was younger, my 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 dad used to show me these wonderful old films, like The Ghost of Mrs. Muir, and all, and all these really beautiful old films, and he had such a passion about it, but had never sort of explored it himself, and <clears throat> and I just. It got to a point where all I would do was was watch films or spend every inch of my student loan going to the theatre and I thought, I should do something about this. <laughs> there must be a reason why and I just thought I'd give it a go and I'm really glad I did. <laughs> just um, tentatively and naively, I sort of built up sort of going going to little auditions bit by bit and Eventually, a casting director had remembered my information, my name, and got me in to read for a part, which then kept snowballing and and got very close to what could have been a very big part. And then, subsequently, because of that, despite not getting it, my now agent had kept his ear to the ground and wondered who this strange, unknown idiot was wandering around trying to trying to nail some massive role and, and so took me on and and then from there it's amazing what what it can do for someone's sort of self esteem and confidence when someone says despite lack of on paper credentials they they take you on. Yeah, I mean I feel I've been really lucky and the people I've worked with so far have only ever been brilliant and I'm yet to work with someone who isn't anything other than lovely. But Neil McCormack, the director of Albatross, was amazing in that he, despite having never really done anything, and also playing this, this lead character, gave me so much creative space to play around and, and allowed me to do different things in each take. And that's quite rare. I really expected to be directed in the way a choreographer would direct something and, 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 and be precise and exact every time and that was a wonderful process to have gone through to start to learn to not be afraid to experiment and try things out. When I was younger Gone with the Wind just used to blow my mind we just used to sit down on Christmas Day in the evening and watch the whole thing and I think I was only about 13 when I first actually sat through the whole thing and hadn't fallen asleep because it's such a long movie. Normally when you're nine, you look so excited by Christmas, you fall asleep. And only because that character, she is so... You just want to slap her. And, and she's frustrating and annoying, but wonderful and eccentric. And I, I adore that. That would be fun. But you can't remake that movie. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> but that would have been cool. It must be... Well, well, no, that sounds ridiculous to say it's raw talent, but I knew no one. And that, and whilst I think it is important, and it's, and the more I've worked, the more I've learnt that it's okay to be confident enough to introduce yourself to people, especially if you admire them. When I was at the 42, after 42 in LA, it was wonderful to be encouraged to go up to people that you normally wouldn't, you just put your head down and walk past to say, hello, my name is, and, and, you know, have a conversation. And it, that is an important thing, but talent will shine through, you know, if, if it's only knowing someone, I think you'll trip up eventually. So I just hope I'm on the talent side and I don't trip up. <laughs> It'll be so embarrassing now. <laughs>